Now, Japan is super awesome, and there's a lot of great things people say about Japan when they come and travel here. The people are nice. The、uh, customer service is so wonderful. The weather is, I mean, it depends on when you come here, but it can be very hot or very nice, beautiful, and everything. But there are some inconveniences and difficulties being a traveler, a Western traveler, maybe I should say, in Japan. So, Adam, what are some things that you thought, or maybe you've seen, or you've experienced personally when you first traveled to Japan that were like, oh, this kind of, this kind of sucks. This kind of, this is making it difficult, or、mm. this is lacking in Japan. The very first thing that comes to mind is the whole cash situation. I mean, it has、oh. and is changing to cashless, going cashless, but that was like、mm. in the recent, probably, I would say five years, probably. True, true, true. Last true. five years, that they, there's actually been a push to go cashless with a lot of shops. But when、yeah. I was there, there w a s a lot of times where I didn't have cash. All I had was either a credit card or my debit cards.、Um, as a traveler, it makes it even more difficult because as a traveler, you、yeah. don't want to carry so much cash on you. It could get lost and then there goes、right. your whole money. Um, so, yeah, most travelers、yeah. carry credit cards or international banking cards, for example. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's really nowhere to use them. Now it's changed, of course. But in the past,、yeah. um, it was like that. Like, I came with, let's say, $1,000 of cash. So, it's a j u m a n and let's say. Okay, okay. Yeah. That would have to pay for the hotel because the hotel wouldn't accept. Anything but cash, unless it's a、uh, domestic Japanese, Japanese kind of banking. Kind of yeah, yeah, okay. Then I have to pay for my food and any other expenses. So just to have a, a, a decent time, I'd have to bring more than I really want to bring. Yes. And someone told me recently that they came to Japan a while ago, a long time ago, and they had that situation where they brought only their credit card、um, and they were hoping、mm. to use it. Their hotel was prepaid, but、um, everything else they would just charge to a credit card and nowhere accepted the credit card. Luckily, they were only there for two days. And luckily, Japanese people are very nice because someone he knew gave him $120 and he randomly met a Japanese person、uh, who overheard his story when him and his friend were talking. And that person、Whoa. offered to pay for like, Everything basically took them out to、Whoa. dinner. They went and went、yeah. to different places, and that person paid for everything. Man, talk about hospitality. Yeah, that is some real hospitality. <laughs> But for the most part, I'm thinking that people who experience this whole non conversion to cashless、um, directly might not be so lucky to find someone who's going to、mm. help them cover. You know, expenses for however long they are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember like, yeah, years ago when I was traveling to、yeah. Japan before I was like living here, of just like spending so much time、uh, going to a bank, finding a bank that could do、right. exchange of cash right, and stuff. Yeah, and then you have、yeah. to sit there, you have to fill out the form. Uh, the staff at the bank usually don't speak English. Right, yeah, so it's, a, or if it, it's just very little.、Yeah. So, It takes a little bit extra time to,、right. to get the whole process finished with. Right.、Um, plenty of times where you'd have like some sort of ATM, some, ca- some card, and you'd overhear, like, oh, like banks、uh, at the post office, like the ATM right, at the post yeah. office, yeah. you can get cash there. But、right. sometimes you can't find a post office. So、Or、you're it's lost. Closed, like, right? Yeah. 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 I re- there's a few times specifically, I remember in like Harajuku.、Mm-hmm. Near like Monte Sando, the, one of the crossings, like I remember, like there's one international like ATM. Yeah. And it was always busy because so many travelers were going there and using、right. it. And we know Japan as being a very cash based society. Yeah. Everyone's got money. We've talked about it before and we've had, you know, plenty of occasions where we're going out with friends and we're finishing up at the Izakai and we're like, oh, Betsy, Betsy, I want to get your mask. And we're all paying for our stuff. And I look at <laughs> Shinji's wallet and he's got like, go m a n I'm、yeah. like, dude, like I want to carry it. He's like, oh man, at least s a m a n every day. <laughs> yeah, really? Every day? <laughs> I guess again, to balance that out, Japan、yeah. is known as being a really safe country. That is true. So what are some other things 
that could be an inconvenient. I've heard of, yeah. you know, going to the forward thinking of our generation nowadays, yeah. everyone having smartphones, using Wi-Fi. Oh, Wi-Fi. yes. Yeah. In, in North America, you know, I've been for such a long time. Tell yeah. me how it is in Canada. Is like Wi-Fi free everywhere? Uh, I wouldn't say everywhere, like, but a lot of stores yeah. have it. It's not like open in the air where I can just walk around with a and get Wi-Fi everywhere. But I know when I walk into a shop, there's Wi-Fi like free public wife or yeah. from the shop, like every shop, right? Right. Even the grocery stores yeah. have Wi-Fi for some reason. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like that in Japan. I think the image is like it's everywhere. You can just walk around and get Wi-Fi everywhere for free yeah. for a lot of travelers, but it's, it's hit or miss, you know, it's weird. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting how you mentioned, you know, yeah. the supermarkets, because I've seen here in Japan yeah. signs that say Wi-Fi in the supermarkets. Oh, really? And I was like, okay, hey, let me try that out. Yeah. And similar to all the other places that say free Wi-Fi, uh, if you're traveling on a train mm -hmm. or like in different stores, like malls and stuff in Tokyo, uh, you have to give some information. You have to yeah. sign into it. Yeah. And say accept it, and there's like terms of agreement and right. all this stuff. There's a whole rigmarole that you got to go through. <laughs> That's true. To get it, it's not just like oh Wi-Fi. What like is on. it? What's the password? Or it's Bloop. just an unlocked one. Yeah. Bloop, and you're in. Right. So is it the same? You don't have to go to as many steps. I feel like when okay. I was, you know, in Japan, there were more steps. Sometimes they even asked for your address, and they would say like oh. If you don't have like a phone number, you can't use the Wi-Fi. Or if you don't have right, right, right. a Japanese address, you can't use the Wi-Fi. You got to have like a email address you got to put in. Sometimes mm -hmm. it was like that. Here it was more, it's more like connect to the Wi-Fi. A window opens, say connect. And then you get open to the whatever shop's page. That's and it. Close that in and oh, it. okay, okay. The Wi-Fi. So it's not as yeah. many steps. They don't ask you for information. But yeah, and, and that's how so many people use uh or get around yeah and learn about stuff is right. through their smartphones because nobody carries maps anymore right yeah uh nobody has a travel guide mm, anymore that is true because we have this magical rectangle <laughs> it's magical as long as we're connected <laughs> to the to internet, the internet. That yeah is true. <laughs> yeah and that's another thing that connects to a, another point i've heard of yeah. like just having difficulty communicating because there uh, is a really small percentage uh where you can have good english mm. and communicate with right. with staff uh in, if it's at a restaurant or like a clothing store it's really a hit or miss and i feel like maybe it's more of a miss mm. if you're here traveling with zero information right. of japanese yeah or any friends that could help you out right. so even, if you can use maybe Wi-Fi yeah. and then some translating something. Right. But then if you got no Wi-Fi, then you're really stuck. Then you're really out stuck. Of luck. But even if you know where you're going, trying to say that in Japanese, if you're like mm. a traveler, might be difficult because of the pronunciation thing. Yeah. You know, like okay, something like okay. Ohio gozaimasu could be like, Ohio gozaimasu. <laughs> Everyone be like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right so, trying to explain someone you want to go to maru no uchi but it's maru nochi maru nochi they yeah yeah understand. mar nochi mar nochi where's mar nochi where's mar nochi i don't know where's you, you, i don't know where your nochi is <laughs> yeah, i don't know so having that wi-fi again would be very helpful to just show you mm. and i kind of it's a segue to this point about traveling and using the subway system and things like that where Oh, man. Like, I think as soon as a traveler gets out of the airport, they should be greeted with someone from JR Rail or something. Like, get this Suica pass. Here's a free one. Oh. Because traveling with that makes it so much easier. You don't have to fig figure out how much you have to spend to go from point A to point B. True, and, true. And more time. It is, it, it is kind of fun, though. Like, I remember, like, <laughs> me and, and maybe it was just because, like, yeah. my situation, there was always, like, a Japanese friend who I was oh, with. Okay. So it's like, we yeah. kind of just relied on him. 
but all of us <laughs> going through, taking yeah. our turns, yeah. putting our coins in. True. And that's how I learned about using coins in Japan so that quickly because we had to use them all the time to get into the train and but, putting it in the slots. And like, <laughs> but then we yeah, got you get this. <laughs> we got to rewind to the cash based society. <laughs> <laughs> what if you don't yes. have coins what if you don't know or what if you just came with a credit card oh my gosh yeah so of course it's fun it's fun hearing the clinkety clink of the machines but then at the same time like figuring out how many coins to put in i could see someone trying to go from like for example uh shinjuku to tokyo station okay i see shinjuku I see Tokyo <laughs> Station. Yes. What are all these numbers in between? <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What's yeah. going on here? True, yeah. true. And but you know what? There's. I'm sure. Just as we're mentioning, like in the past, it was one way, and true. now it's a different way. So yeah. especially for us, you know, we we understand the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. are able to also communicate better and be true. able to read stuff. So yeah. it is so much more easier. It's not extremely foreign right. as if you were someone who has zero, zero understanding, zero uh and like knowledge of what it's like society right. and yeah. at just every point you're just like in alien land. Basically. Like, basically. Especially yeah. I yeah. mean I've had a few friends that have come over just recently since everything has been opening up again. And they're just like, like how probably how I was when I first came. They're just like, oh my god, like just like yeah, everything is so different. Yeah, and so it can really it can really take you off for a spin. Yeah, um, and yeah, the public transportation. I'm sure it's been getting better. Yeah, but still, there can be some some. Uh, there's always going to be places where it can be better. I'm sure you True. know. Same with in the U.S. and in Canada. There's probably situations where people are there and they're like, I don't know what where I'm supposed to go. Mm, but yeah. dude, even with the knowledge I have, I still go to some train stations and I'm still like, where I'm walking this way, I'm following. Okay, Mary, don't you this way? Okay, going this way. And oh, then all of a sudden yeah. the arrow's gone. I'm yeah. like, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. I'm still walking. <laughs> dude, I don't dude. I don't want to look like a tourist and like stop and be like, oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. I'm like, no, I just got to keep on walking. Walk a little slower. <laughs> Try to catch I'm like, the exit. no, no arrows. Yeah. No arrows. The last thing is about some conveniences that you might think are worldwide that are not worldwide. The major one oh. I'm, I could think about is something like Uber. I believe you can get an Uber in different countries. So for people who don't you know, know, Uber is yeah. a taxi service right. that... People will pretty much strangers yeah. register themselves as taxi drivers right, and they right. go and they pick up anyone. It's yeah. like it's like Uber Eats. Uber Eats Uber is Eats, still, yeah, a thing still a thing in yeah. Japan yeah. where anybody can be the delivery person right. to deliver. So here it's actually helping people go from one place to another, which I thought would be awesome because of yeah. Japan being so uh, <laughs> nice yeah. and, and safe. <laughs> yeah. Be the best place for that. But it didn't work. I guess they're nope. it's different now. So. Things like that, where a, a, a person might be expecting something that is generally across the boards the same, like around the world. Another one would be um, another one would be Airbnb that people yeah. might be expecting, but they, they kind of yeah, yeah. It was here it's, for a little bit, but then it, there was some kind of thing that happened, and it got there was a thing. Yeah, there's a few still up, but yeah, right. not, compared not compared to what I've heard to... in like North America. Yeah, yeah. So those things that the traveler might be used to when traveling that aren't here but it's it exists but it's not like common uh, might be a little bit of an inconvenience for them because they're expecting to have a very streamlined very smooth transition where they yeah. might not have to communicate with anyone for all the their needs all they mm. need to do is arrive and log into the internet and do a little bit of zip zaps connect to their housing their lodging and connect to the cars that they need and just go from the airport yeah where they land and it's what what no uber <laughs> what no 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 airbnb oh my gosh what do i do to yeah. Uber? Yeah. how do i eat yeah you know it's hard to go to japan as a traveler without preparing a lot beforehand i feel yeah 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 it's not for it's it's not really for the backpacker who just wants to jump in and 
go, you know, sometimes, mm, sometimes, mm, but right, people are friendly. Right. So it balances yes. out. <laughs> it balances people are friendly. Out. There's people who most people can speak yeah. English if they choose to do so. Yeah. It's usually more on the negative side right. and uh, it could take a little more time, but there are people who have come in yeah. and backpacked and hitchhiked true, and true. cycled through and say they had a good time. Yeah. Uh, but still, yeah. let us know what you think about this topic. Leave a comment down below. What do you think could be an inconvenience to someone traveling to Japan for the first time? Yeah. Uh, hey, subscribe to the channel if you like these kinds of talks and like the video. Yeah, but that's it. We'll see you on, on the, the next step. step.